Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to make this material in Material Maker 0.97. If you're new to Material Maker, I suggest watching my getting started video before watching this one. So bricks is a good uh, starting point for planks, so uh, create a bricks node and we'll set the rows to 10 and the columns to 2. And we don't want any space in between the, um, the planks, so we'll set the mortar to zero. Um, but we want um, a bigger bevel, so we'll increase this a bit. Um, so let's uh, start out with seeing how this looks by uh, running this height map through uh, a normal map node and into the normal input. And we'll make an inverted version to make a depth map. And we'll run that into the depth input. And you can see how it uh, it looks here. Um, so uh, we want these uh, bevels to be a bit more interesting looking. So um, an easy way to do that is to uh, run something into um, the bevel input here. Okay, so for that we'll use um, some FVM noise. Um, we'll use uh, the Perlin variation here, and uh, we'll want this to be um, much more uh, stretched. So let's set this to something like uh, 16 and uh, set the iterations and the persistence up a bit so it gets a bit more noisy. Um, and let's try and run that into the bevel. And as you can see that immediately makes for a much more interesting bevel. Uh, now I don't really uh, love that it's this uh, linear um, uh, gradient here, so um, I'll use a, a tonality node. And I'll just use the um, uh, ease out um, so we get this more uh, spherical um, uh, look to it here. And let's try and run that into our normal map and our invert. And we get some uh, some softer edges, much better already. Now, uh, currently, um, all these boards um, basically just look flat at the same angle. So uh, we can fix this with um, doing some random gradients. Um, so this is pretty easy to do by using the, um, the brick UV. So if we take this and run it into a uh, custom UV node, uh, we actually need it to go into the UV. Um, and then we take a, um, a gradient and run that into it, the input here. Um, so then we'll get uh, gradients here and we can uh, randomly rotate them in every direction. Um, we'll just um, increase the scale a little bit just so we're sure that they cover the planks completely and then we can also increase the, the random scale a little bit. Um, so if we then uh, take the height map we already had here and uh, use a blend node, um, want that to be the bottom input, then if we use a multiply here we can now control um, how much these gradients affect it. Um, so if we use that instead, uh, we get randomly angled planes instead, like this. So uh, the planks still look a little bit bland, so uh, let's um, add some more detail with another layer of noise. Um, so let's use um, another Perlin. Um, and we'll make this one really stretched like, uh, I don't know, something like this. And um, we'll add a fold in to it um, to get all these like uh, high contrast little details. Um, and then we can just run it through a step node. Um, so if we set this to something like uh, one and three or something, um, then we can um, blend that together um, with our height map. And we'll use multiply again, um, and this is probably this probably has to be pretty low, but we can uh, we can have a look. So we plug that in down here, um, and then immediately we have some little streaks. We can make them a little bit weaker if they're a bit too intense. Something like this. So uh, like me, you're probably getting tired of looking at these um, white planks. So uh, if we take the random color output and use a colorize node. Uh, we can just uh, find like a, like two nice uh, colors here. Something like this maybe. 
and we can just run that into the albedo and we have a bit of color variation for each plank. And now let's uh, add some nails to the bricks. Uh, this is really easy using the corner UV output here. So if we take this and we use another custom UV, and again this has to go into the UV input, and then we can make a shape. Uh, we will use a circle, and increase its uh, size a bit, and uh, give it a bit of a bigger edge here. And we'll run that into here. Um, yep, and uh, then we immediately have some uh, some little nails here, um, and the size of them is controlled with the with the corner uh, control on the brick. Uh, actually, we might want to slightly decrease the size here, and increase the size on the corner, just so the nails don't sit all the way out at the very edge of each uh, brick, or in this case, plank. Uh, now to actually um, add this mask of uh, nails into um, the planks, we need to um, add a bit of height to um, to the planks where each nail is. But we don't want the, um, the grain of the wood to show through, so that makes it a bit more complicated. But we'll work around that by taking um, the, the heights uh, we had here, and we'll just add a small value to them with a math node. We'll say we'll add Dot one. So that's how much we want the, the nails to stick out of the wood. Um, then if we um, if we take this value and blend it um, with the same uh, values that we used up here, so multiply and uh, seven five with the with the brick mask. Then each of these uh, bricks are at the same height as this, but plus a small value. Um, so now we can take um, our old uh, height map here, and uh, we can uh, blend that together with our um, nails, and we can use that with um, uh, the max function, which just uh, you know takes the, the highest of the two, uh, the same as Leiden. So, um, so that should add a little bit of value everywhere. There is a nail, and you can see that looks fine. And uh, and we can you know slightly decrease this if we want the nails to stick out less. Now uh, obviously we don't want um, the nails to be wood colored, so uh, we need um, some kind of mask to tell us what's what. Um, and an easy way to do that is just to um, again take our two different height maps, our nails and our planks and uh, run them through um, another math node where it's set to um, smaller than. Um, so we're comparing the two and we get another mask. And this mask is exactly, you know, um, the white parts are where the nails are taller than um, the planks. Um, so we can now uh, use this to, um, to for example, uh, run into a, a blend node, uh, into the opacity. Um, and with this, you know, we can, uh, if we run that into, if we run the albedo into here, and then we can take, um, you know, a, a color uniform that's uh, like uh, something like a gray for metal, and we can put that here, um, and then we have the, then we have the nails uh, showing up as gray. Um, but of course they still look a bit uh, boring and that just because you know nothing is said to be metallic and the roughness is set to one um so if we if we take the mask um and we run that into metallic um we also just have to set metallic to one here because it's disabled by default uh, they still look pretty boring uh, so we probably need to do a roughness map um so we'll just uh do a uh, a colorize here of the um, of the nail mask, and we'll just say that, um, like the wood is sort of uh, medium roughness, and then um, the nails are really low roughness, and then we run that into the roughness, um, and then it might be a little bit difficult to see. Maybe we should make the nails a little bit bigger. Let's increase the corner a little bit. Uh, yeah, and now you can see they're uh, metallic and reflective. And now to um, to finish off, let's just uh, add a little bit of um, shadows with um, an occlusion node. 
Um, so uh, we can uh, do something like this and just run that into the ambient occlusion. And that just adds some of those uh, small little shadows uh, in between. Um, and we can have a look at uh, what it looks like on a sphere. Maybe that'll look cool. Um, yeah, and there we are. Thank you so much for watching. Material Maker is completely free and open source, but if you want to support its development, you can do so on its itch.io page. If you want to support me in making videos and open source tools, you can do so on my Patreon. Thanks to my patrons, Rodzilla, David Masiaka, Andres Hernandez, Sneaky AMX, Mike King, Decaying Dev, Alex Litinski, Elias Eskilinen, Joseph Catronbone, Oscar Johnson, Winston, Space J Zero, and Marcus Richter.